What's going on you guys and welcome back to the crypto layer and in this video I'm going to be talking about why cryptocurrency will be the future and we'll be talking about Robinhood starts rolling out cryptocurrency. So in my opinion the reason why I think that cryptocurrency will flourish in the future is because well right now think about the dollar like the dollar the US dollar isn't backed by anything it's not backed by gold because when President Nixon cut the Gold Standard Act, it pretty much said that USD was not tied to anything. So now that gold and silver don't back up, like doesn't back the dollar anymore, so 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 there's no nothing like the dollar. So the dollar is pretty much worth the dollar, just because the government says it's worth a dollar. And also another thing is that the the Federal Reserve, what where, who the people who print the money, the are private institution so they're not even owned by the government really so the people who actually own the money are like a private government and whenever they need to pay off a loan to the government or let the government borrow money they just print that money out of thin air like there's nothing backing it like isn't that ridiculous like i don't agree with that like yeah bitcoin only has value because the people believe in it but that's because you know it, the power is slowly coming back to the people like us you know we get to control the price but for the dollar it's like we have no say, and how, we don't like a lot of people don't even know how the why like what you what's the dollar even like why the dollar is even worth the dollar you know, and the simple answer to that again is pretty much because the government says it is because the U.S. government said the dollar is worth a dollar. There's no gold, there's no silver, like backing it. So there's nothing in the reserve. I mean, there's we still have gold reserves, but it's not like that's backing our dollar, and that kind of goes to show like how kind of U.S. USD tether runs, you know, like they say they have every US tether is backed with a dollar, but you know, they haven't been able to show that. They they haven't been audited to be able to show it. And I mean, they're running just the same way as like the US government's running the US tether is that they're just printing money out of thin air, you know, and just saying that pretty much it's a dollar because they just want it to be a dollar, so that's what the dollar is. So that's the reason why I think the future will be really big on Bitcoin because it's decentralized. No banks own it. You know, you don't have to pay for like a maintenance fee just to have money in your bank account. Like, for example, like my bank account, like what it charges me like three dollars a three dollars a month for some maintenance fee that makes no sense. You know, so that's just what I find re really ridiculous is that, and once people start to realize like the banks are like stealing us, stealing our money and shit and all that, it will become really big. <clears throat> but let's start off. Robinhood starts rolling out cryptocurrency trading today. So the, Robinhood is a is an app that you trade stocks on, like little stocks. So Robinhood, the Palo the Palo Alto headquartered U.S. stock brokerage app, has begun today, gradually enable access to BTC and ETH and Ethereum trading to its customers re residing in California, Massachusetts, Missouri, Montana, and New Hampshire. Assuming that the launch will be as successful as ex expected, the company promises to add in many more states later on. The service already offers market data on cri 16 cryptocurrencies in form of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Ripple, Ethereum Classic, Zcash, Monero, Dash, Stellar, Qtum, Bitcoin Gold, Omi Omisigo, Neo, Lisk, and Dogecoin. I mean Dogecoin, sorry. The company also announced today details of Robinhood Feed, a way to discuss cryptocurrencies, news, and market swings in real time with other investors on the platform. So it's pretty much like an app, like, I mean the messaging, like straight messaging, like a troll box kind of. Feed will only be available to a limited number of platform users right now. Four million dollars strong. The excitement and anticipation about cryptocurrency trading among young Americans has evidently helped the community achieve remarkable growth in a very short time. Soon after Robinhood announced it would add cryptocurrencies, over a million people were waiting in line to get early access to commission-free trading service. It now boasts of having over four million users and up three million reported in 2017, November 2017. So what? That was just like four or five months ago, and they had like under a million users and now they have up three million so that's that's a big uh increase i've never really used robin myself but i know friends that use it so 
Yes, like they do have a name in like the millennial like generation. Like a lot of people use them just because you know it's easy. You don't have to go through a broker to buy stocks and stuff. You can do it all on your own. And it's just like what crypto is, you know. The app team today stated today over the past few weeks we've over we've been overwhelmed by the enthusiasm towards Robinhood crypto and are excited to contribute to the cryptocurrency community in a meaningful way. Together, we reached 4 million users as well as $100 billion in transaction volume on our brokerage platform. So that's really good, you know. Uh, leading, leading to over $1 billion in commissions saved in equity trades. With the release of Robinhood Crypto, we are continuing our mission in making the financial system work for everyone, not just the wealthy. So, like I said, again, this is a good thing, you know, this this is going to make it so more people have access to buying crypto, or the people who didn't really know about crypto but used stocks, like trading, just did stock trading on Robinhood, they'll start to get into crypto now, you know, they'll see Bitcoin, they'll be like, oh crap, like look at those huge returns. So that's a good thing for us, we'll be, um, I'm expecting for uh, a rise in Bitcoin real soon. So today we're we're slightly recovering from what happened yesterday, but like I said, this is what I've been expecting it to stay around the four, the three hundred fifty billion and the four hundred fifty billion. And when it reached to that five hundred billion, it was really early to reach that, so that's why I didn't expect it to stay there. But it's good to see some movement in the market the past couple of days. Bitcoin dominance is at thirty eight point seven percent, so it looks like Bitcoin is dominating today. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about if crypto will be the future. And subscribe and I'll be giving away 0.01 Bitcoin at 1,000 subscribers. Peace.